we shall now be taking a look at trying to solve the problem of finding whether a given input year is a leap year or not. This particular program will be following the logic we used in the algorithms to find the leap year and the link to that particular algorithm can be found in the description section of this particular video. So if you want details on what is a leap year, how to calculate a leap year, I would recommend you strongly take a look at the link provided in the description of this particular video. So if I have to find out if an input year is a leap year, first what I'll do is I'll declare a short variable called as leap. All right, sorry, a short variable called as year. So short year. So this is my variable where I'm going to store an input year. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user to enter a year. Enter a year. Okay, so the user will enter some value for the year. So in order to read the value of the year, I need to use the percentage HI. HI is the conversion specifier for reading short type of data. So do not try to use percentage D because the compiler will flag an error. The conversion specifier to read short type of data is percentage HI. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the if statement. So first I'm going to say if year mod okay 400 is equal to zero then straight away I'm going to print the message that the input year is a leap year percentage D percentage HI sorry is a leap year all right so this takes care of all years which are divisible by 400 now we shall go with the other cases like for example if the input year is a multiple of the year 100 but not divisible by 400 so what I'll say is else if year mod 100 is equal to 0 I'm going to be a bit lazy here I'm going to cut and paste this particular statement to speed up the typing this is what you should be doing even in your lab or when you go to work is not a leap year all right I'll explain this code a bit but for details of what is a leap year I would strongly recommend go to the description and click on the algorithm to understand it now it's quite simple if the year mod sorry if the year mod 4 is equal to 0 then I'm straight away going to say it's a leap year so I'm just going to do this copy paste here percentage H is a leap year else the last one I'm going to say simply it's not a leap year so let me copy this chap here all right there's one thing missing here I have not given the variable to be printed in this printf statement so I'll say year here, here okay and then I can simply do a copy of this chap here and just paste him everywhere here okay all right so the order you write this particular statement is really really important okay because if you miss the order the logic is not going to turn out to be right so this is something I'm going to create it like a ladder else if so you just understand that it looks like a ladder statement all right so here what I'm going to do here is we are going to test this particular program with a series of values so what we are going to do here is we are going to enter four or five different years and try to find out if it correctly calculates whether the input year is a leap year or not so year is a leap year if it is divisible by four provided it's not a century year if it is a century year there are two conditions if the year is perfectly divisible by 400 then it's a leap year else it is not a leap year so years like 1600 2000 are leap years whereas the years 1700 1800 1900 are not considered leap years to get a more complete feel on this please take a look at the algorithm provided in the description of this particular video as well as the description of the algorithm of the leap year you will get a crystal clear picture of how to calculate the leap year and how it works the order of these statements is very important because if i get an input year as 400 it should straight away say it's a leap year and it should come out and stop Suppose if I put this year 100 first, then even a century year like 1600, it will say is not a leap year. So let's try to understand the working of this particular piece of code through some test runs. So let's say first I enter an input year like say 2004. 
this should be a leap year because 2004 mod 400 is not zero 2400 mod 100 is not zero 2004 mod 4 happens to be zero so it will say 2004 is a leap year so it's doing the job 2004 is a leap year now let me try to run for one year let's like say 2007 or 2010 to see if it's a leap year or not so when i enter 2010 if you say that it clearly says 2010 is a not a leap year because obviously it's not divisible by four now we need to worry about this years which are divisible by 100 so now what i'm going to do here is i am going to enter the year like say 1800 1800 is not a leap year because not every century year is a leap year so here if you say it's clearly saying 1800 is not a leap year now let me try running it for one more year so now if i enter the year let's say 2000 okay it should clearly say 2000 is a leap year because 2000 mod 400 is happens to be zero now i'll be showing you to find out if an input year is a leap year using two other methods in the next method i'll show you how it can be done using a nested if statement followed by how you can use logical and and or operator to write this entire code in just about two or three lines but make sure you first understand this code then the other code is going to make sense to you so this was an example of using ladder if else if else if and s so you can see this is almost slanting if this is the wall this is slanting like a ladder that's why it's given the name ladder if else if statement